Well, hey everybody. Today is Monday, October the 28th. The year is 2024. They waved at me, so I had to wave back. They got me out of frame. All right. The trees have changed. I'm gonna see if I can. And I got the wind in my face, so I'm looking towards the south, southwest. I'm on the back deck of the Ozark Community Center. You can see that behind me. I got the beautiful fall foliage behind me this way. Yep, it's a pretty day. Beautiful actually. I thought I'd make a video and show you what it looked like. But the wind's blowing pretty hard so I'm not going to get off into any subject that would distract me from talking. I could do anything and just have my, you know, my the closed captions run at the bottom and uh, <laughs> and even use a computer generated voice over to tell you a story if I really wanted to I could do it I can be creative and do it that way but I think it's just better just to look at the trees for right now and just remember what it feels like Oh, I just now noticed, got a few of them things in persistent clouds. Look at that. We hadn't had any in a long time. Long time. Well, there's going to be rain coming in the next four days. So, so for two weeks, we hadn't had a chance of rain. The skies were free of these persistent trails in the sky. Y'all know I'm referring to what they are as, uh, what do you call that? Con, con trail. Chemtrails refers to the theory that governments or other parties are engaged in a secret program to add toxic chemicals to the atmosphere from aircraft. Yeah, that's what those are. Those are con trails. I'm gonna get Josh Holly to pass a deal where doing Show you these trees real quick. Bring the camera around here so I can talk. I want to get Josh Holly look into what Tennessee and uh, Kentucky did about having any airplanes, jets that are flying over the state of Missouri to be under the threat of criminal prosecution if they're doing anything out of the plane that affects the health and welfare of people on the ground. Tennessee recently passed a significant bill targeting chemtrails. This legislation, known as SB 2691-HB 2063, aims to ban the intentional release of chemicals into the atmosphere to affect weather, temperature, or sunlight. Inspired by the chemtrail conspiracy theory, this bill passed the House with a 70-22 to vote and the Senate with a 25-6 to vote. If signed by the governor, it will go into effect on July 1, 2024. Violations of this law carry hefty penalties, with fines reaching up to $500,000. That's what I'm going to work on. Matter of fact, I'll start writing that first draft maybe tonight. <laughs> Josh is going to win that election thing, and he'll be back in office. And so he's going to have several letters waiting on me. One about that, and, and the other one's going to be about how I'm so shadow banned. And, I can show you an algorithm um, take off of my analytics, which can't be manipulated by me or nobody else. And I'm going to show you where I was getting roughly almost 30,000 views a day. And some days it was as high as 100,000. And it drops straight down, like straight down. And it has a date, like a little birthday. Well, hey, everybody, I want to show you this. 
and this graph right here that's 300,000 if you can see the number and I it did it took a downturn and it shows you the date November the 9th the 17th 2023 it stayed really flat but yeah, 7,000 5,000 3,000 and then it, it comes back up and it as it gets here you can see that's a hundred thousand come over here that's a hundred thousand and then this one is two hundred thousand and then I was running along like that pretty good and then it started dipping but even at the dips it was still working out pretty good and that was my last um, high peak right there right after that it just bottom fell out in nine thousand which was good and then we get to here have one more peak and then all of a sudden it just goes flat four thousand and then this is september the 30th and look how flat it is two thousand one thousand you see that it's just flat okay that's what I want to show you, give you an idea. Let's, let me do this real quick. I'm going to go to my lifetime. And you can see I took off and was doing really good. And that was October the 24th. Now, back here in the in the past, I had a little bit of traffic. But when I started doing the Josh Holly ones, that was, this is the content wanted to show you. Well, I don't want to do it for a lifetime. I'll do it for the last 300, 300 days. Now you can see how flat it is. Look at that. These were Josh Holly videos. You see the numbers? You see the numbers? You see the numbers? And you see the name Josh Holly. You also see the ones that were popular. You see their names. But that's how this works when you're shadow banned. <laughs> there ain't no, there ain't nothing that can make it go that flat. That flat. When you were getting hundreds of thousands of views and it just goes to nothing. That's called shadow ban. And I guarantee you, I wasn't the only one that got shadow banned this round. When I say this round, I'm talking about this season that we're in with the, you know, the politicking. And so, yeah, I'm gonna end this video right there and um, maybe pick up a little bit more about how the algorithm thing works and explain how, how it's impossible to have something open and then all of a sudden just close it unless you had evil intentions of shadow banning not just me but probably if i was shadow banned that bad uh this time around i bet everybody else that was in the truth community was shadow banned too let's talk about these things that's how you resolve them and get josh holly to uh do that class action lawsuit and maybe get my all my money back from yeah, but I'll tell you more about that story later. Y'all tune in. You see, if you'll figure out how much money I'm owed, and then you you want to you want to do it yourself. <laughs>